So I have a question for you, Rema. Your song, Woman, the first lyrics uh, on that uh, song, you say that you are in love with painting women and uh, <laughs> you might marry all of them, but uh, you say during the interview <laughs> at our studio, you say that you're very single mm. and not ready to, you're not searching, but you're, you're just looking for money right now. So. I just want you to know that what happened to these women? Did they fall out of love or was just your inspiration when you were that So, um, woman, that, that line, you know, where I said, I'm in love with plenty of women, I know my and marry all of them. You know, it actually means, you know, I have a crush on different type of women, all size, different sizes, different shapes, different colors. Um, and, you know, my intonation was, was in the in the I the way I placed my sentence or the way I placed our verse was in a way that if I had a chance to marry all of them I would you feel me yeah that's it that's my intonation that was what I meant you feel me you know if I had a chance if I was if I was able to marry you know different sizes different color you know, because everywhere I go, I see beautiful women. Kenya has beautiful women. I just left Zambia. Zambia has beautiful women. You know, but I just can't, you know, it's too much. But if I had a chance, yeah, I would. If I had the strength as well, I would. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. We love it. Go ahead, King B. Yes. Hi, Rema. Yeah. My name is King B. Um, from Country FM, I'm working with Jira. Um, the song. Uh, Bounce is one of my favorite songs in the years. coming for me. And I really love the video. <laughs> you took it all the way there with the video. It's so risky and so, um, I would say, out of the ordinary from the videos you've done before. What was the creative direction behind the video? Um, that video was really, really inspired by the movie Mad Max. Um, you know, I didn't really want it to be super cliche and just be in a beautiful background, colorful place, you know, or a club setting with girls just, you know, dancing. You feel me? I, I, I know the song is so direct and, you know, cliche with the booty bounce and everything, but I actually wanted to add a twist of creativity to it. I didn't just want it to be plain. And that's why um, we got inspiration from Mad Max. And, I worked with Director K to bring that vision out. And yeah, I'm proud of it. Yeah. Excellent questions. Let's keep it going. I know there's a question here. Hi, everyone. My name is Betty from SPM Buzz. Um, so my question goes to you, Rema. Um, you're doing a world tour right now, and Kenya is among the countries that you're visiting, which, you know, we feel very privileged to be, you know, to have you here. But I would like to know, according to you, the entertainment industry in Nigeria and Kenya. What do you think is the difference? And you know, is there something that we could learn from your industry here in Kenya? Um, you know, I know I'm new to the game and I won't say or act like I know everything or, you know, be in a place of, um, you know, judging any industry, you feel me? Um, I've not actually taken out time to observe the Kenyan industry 100%. I will be honest with you. Um, but if there's something generally, you know, I look out for, it's just, if there's, some, if there's something generally that keeps us going, it's just the unity, the love, the support for each other. You feel me? The hard work, um, the ability to leave our comfort zone, which is our home and, you know, relocate and be far away from home just to make sure that we unlock a different territory to be able to pass our message, you feel me? Um, there's a lot of background work that happens that you know you don't get to see on the internet. There's a lot of sweat, there's a lot of blood, there's a lot of sacrifices. Um, so yeah, um, I feel like that's what really, you know, push, pushed us, you know, this far and yeah. I know there's another question. Okay, I'll start right here. Yeah, hi, uh, this is Joe from Standard Group. So I wanted to ask a question about, uh, you talking about unity in Nigerian artists coming together and having that unity going on. 
what is the advice you also make? Okay, like tell the artists in Kenya to have like how do you come up with the same unity as artists in Nigeria that the same Kenyan artists can also have here? Um. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Collaboration. That's it. Collaboration. And two, I feel like a lot of people, a lot of um, artists pay too much attention to fan base rivalry, you know? They just take it up to themselves and they take their fan base rivalry personal, you feel me? Some, some artists don't actually like want to work together, not because they're not cool, but because their fans just stare up something, you know? Um, we should look past that, you know? Um, spend more time together, understand, you know, our different um, mind space um, and just keep working together. And it's not, you know, always about, oh, get a feature or oh, music, like pop up at a show, like be be, a, be on a music video, like just be there, you know, be there for your brother. It's not all about music, you know, however you can support creatively as well, it's still a collaboration, yeah. 